a scammer on the internet made a cryptocurrency with rise of kingdoms nfts and they're valuing the project at 1.6 million us dollars yes you heard me correctly what if i told you rise of kingdoms was going to implement nft support so that way you could actually own charles martel and sell it for dollars on top of that rise of kingdoms was going to implement a cryptocurrency to convert the game into a play to earn experience well hopefully you would be pretty mad about that because that sounds like complete dog shit to me boys now don't worry at the time of recording this Lilith has no plans of implementing any sort of nfts or crypto but if you happen to stumble across this site riseofkingdoms.co you may be inclined to think otherwise ladies and gentlemen this is one of the biggest scams to come out of the rise of kingdoms community and today we're going to talk about it so that way you don't fall victim to scams like this and also hopefully somebody at Lilith sees this video because this is well the owner of the site actually just stole all of Lilith's intellectual property in the form of images assets names copyrights logos you name it this guy probably stole it for the sole purpose of scamming rise of kingdoms players and stealing their money what's going on guys cheers so we got a little bit of a different video here for you guys today all right this website came to my attention over on discord this is riseofkingdoms.co and this website claims that rise of kingdoms is an upcoming play to earn game for players from novice to pro to test their skills and compete against peers now as you can see here apparently the pre-sale for this cryptocurrency started on may 5th we're gonna learn a little bit later that the official launch date is in july but um this may look a little bit familiar to you okay this is this is alex and ragnar and Boudica and takeda and that's that wait a minute that's the official rise of kingdoms logo here and also at the top of the page so is this website run by lilith oh no it certainly isn't which is what makes this probably the biggest scam that's ever come to the rise of kingdoms community so today let's take a little bit of a closer look shall we apparently the pre-sale lists the price of these tokens which we're gonna find out in a moment that it's called the rok token that's what it that's what it's ticker symbol actually is rok and for one hundredth of a binance coin you can get a hundred thousand rok tokens or even better for a tenth of a Binance coin, you can have 1 million ROK tokens. And if you want to get crazy, if you want to really well up on this fake cryptocurrency program, then you can use a single Binance coin for 10 million tokens, boys. Now that sounds like a good deal to me, okay? I mean, based on the images, this game looks like it's going to be a good game. This might actually be worth it until you scroll down and realize just how many tokens they're planning on issuing when this cryptocurrency program uh, launches, so to speak. I mean, at the bottom of the page, they literally just ripped screenshots right out of the game and are claiming that this is the game that they're bringing cryptocurrency and NFT support to. They even claim to be partnered by Binance Smart Chain, Binance Labs, CoinGecko, Coin Market Cap, and all these other quote unquote reputable places. And again, they use the official Rise of Kingdoms logo. And at the bottom, they say copyright, copyright 2022, all rights reserved by Rise of Kinhadums. I can't tell if they misspelled kingdoms on purpose so they don't get sued or if they're just an absolute idiot which honestly both of those things could be possible but really there's not that much information on this website about the rise of kingdoms game or cryptocurrency or nfts or anything like that it's very shady all it does is give you an option to purchase the the coins and also a an airdrop and a referral link okay so basically this is a marketing ploy that a lot of brand new cryptos and nft projects use called airdrops where essentially they're just going to give away a certain number of coins or nfts or something like that to get interest into the project so people at least maybe redeem it and sell it right away or at least they look into the project and see sort of what it's about here so right now that you can get 30 rok tokens for free by claiming your airdrop but again remember 0 0.01 binance coin will get you 100 000 tokens so claiming 30 tokens for free is worthless guys uh, 0 0.01 binance coins is three us dollars okay 
for three dollars you can have a hundred thousand coins so a 30 coin airdrop is basically zero dollars like it's so few it's it is so many fractions of a penny that it's essentially zero okay and that makes sense because this project is fake and it's a it's a scam it's it's worthless because it's worthless but great news if you refer someone to the project you get six tokens sick dude we get six tokens when for three dollars i can get a hundred thousand so even from a marketing and airdrop perspective this makes no sense there is no incentive here to spread the word for this project when you could immediately get outwailed for a fucking dollar but let me just back up here a little bit okay let me just go ahead and back up because we've started to rip into this program pretty hard and i got i don't want you guys to think that I hate cryptocurrency or that I hate NFTs. In fact, I own cryptocurrency. I'm a little bit diversified. I own a couple of different coins and I own a couple of NFTs. Okay. I do. And it's not because I'm a crypto bro or anything like that. I honestly think that it's sort of the wild west right now of the whole web 3.0 scene. And a lot of these projects are going to go to zero. They're just, they just are. Okay. And I don't recommend you guys invest in any crypto or NFTs unless you really have the income to do so. And you really know what you're investing in and you're okay with losing all of it okay i'm not here to tell you that cryptos are a good or bad investment what i'm here to tell you is that this is literally infringing on copyright and a scam and it's targeting you guys it's targeting you, the players of rise of kingdoms it's trying to convince people that rise of kingdoms is implementing a crypto and nfts and look again i, I believe in the future of crypto and nfts i think there are legitimately there are legitimate use cases for the blockchain technology and there's legitimate use cases for non-fungible tokens for various different reasons and i think that in a few years we're gonna see crypto and nfts incorporated into a lot of different games and a lot of different projects but this projects like this are what give crypto and nfts such a bad reputation because it's literally just a scam it's literally just a scam that's all it is they are literally just stealing the assets from lilith and then using the popularity of rise of kingdoms to scam lilith's customers that's what they're trying to do and if i were lilith right now i would be on the phone with my lawyer i would be going straight for the takedown of this website because they're already trying to promote this fake coin the rok crypto coin on coinvote.cc and also coinfair.cc it's already gone far enough okay it needs to be just nipped right in the bud before this gains any traction at all because people who aren't familiar with the actual game rise of kingdoms are going to see things like their twitter account and think that this is a legitimate project. I mean, look at this. It's Rise Off Kingdoms. They, they just added a little F in there to make it look like it's a legitimate thing. And then they bought probably 4,000 followers. Okay, that's what that looks like to me. Yeah, it's got to be bots. I mean, look at this. It's just some name with a bunch with a string of numbers i mean look at how many of them there are it's daryl bunch of numbers elizabeth a bunch of numbers two look this is just a, this is like this is almost like a crypto wallet as a as a username sean st bunch of numbers this is how you know look at this all of these are fake it's a name with numbers it's an it's a randomly generated twitter account these are all fake bots and that's an, it's easy to tell they didn't even try to make these followers look real there's probably maybe 50 or 100 real people here that just follow them because of the hashtags they use they use hashtag bsc hashtag bnb DeFi. these are all you know crypto hashtags that i'm sure some people just follow them because of that but if you look at their twitter account they literally just stole the rise of kingdoms videos like they they just straight up stole it they just downloaded it and were like so, yoink that's mine now we're going to use that to promote my fake crypto scam and again if people don't know about the actual game rise of kingdoms they're going to see videos like this and be like, oh my God, this game is really like it's in development. They're really making progress. Look at the 3d artwork. Look at the animations. Look at the art style. Look at how, look at even said Lilith right there. Like, look, look at how, look at how legitimate this game looks. And then they step, they took this screenshot, right? This is an old beta screenshot that I think is still on the Google play store. I mean, this like, it's, it's so obvious that the person who posted and made this scam doesn't really know what rise of kingdoms is they probably have heard of it and they just looked up a couple of videos and stole it like look at this think about how much time and money lilith invested in making this video and you might think like who cares right but this person just literally stole it downloaded it and they're using it to promote look some sort of giveaway for their rok coins referral contest 
they have a, an airdrop link to their uh to their telegram group or whatever and they're just using this official rise of kingdoms video to try to scam people out of their money it's actually horrifying to think that some people are probably going to believe this and look at this i love this this is their their first tweet here rise of kingdoms no spaces by the way rise of kingdoms is a money making game look listen hey okay boys that's true we already know they make money okay but it ain't what you think it is players transform into heroes to fight each other and earn money in the game we invite you to follow and support the upcoming game they're saying rise of kingdoms isn't even out yet and that you should invest in rise of kingdoms coin because this new play to earn game is coming soon and this is what you can expect this is what they're they're selling you on they're saying you can expect this game this is what they're selling you uh, and little do these people know the game already is out rise again has been around for years now and you don't have to buy a crypto to invest in it and you don't have to spend any money on nfts and and i don't honestly i don't even think that the person who started this project really understands what crypto or nfts even are i mean there's no reference of nfts anywhere except in some of the giveaways one nft cao cao what does that even mean are they trying to tell you that you get to own this asset in the game if you're the winner of the of the project like what are they even talking about like look at this tweet price to own nft champions in the game announced and then they link to their website that literally doesn't say anything about nfts at all it says that there's going to be a house nft item this is this is actually a good a good time let's take a look at their roadmap okay let's see what's coming to rise of kingdoms according to this scam okay q1 of 2022 pre-sale listing on pancake swap okay that's a place where you can you can buy and sell nfts and cryptos and stuff like that launching game and nft trading market and cex listing so they're saying the game and nfts are coming in quarter one of 2022 but guess what boys we're out of quarter 20 quarter one it's over we're donezo the game should be out already based on based on their on their roadmap okay and of course the game is out but it came out years ago and it has nothing to do with crypto let's look at quarter two this is what we should be expecting now staking okay great we can stake our our ROK okay coins cool game content updates wow boys PvP and leaderboard chat system pet renting system dude holy smokes we can get pets in rise of kingdoms for cryptocurrency and then we can stake that cryptocurrency and we can be rich big ballers like Baba holy smokes I can't believe how lucky I am to stumble upon this project in early development quarter three release big update whoa dude we're gonna get a big update in quarter three holy smokes dude i'm pogging so hard right now oh my goodness oh and then we're gonna get the metaverse <gasps> we're gonna get the metaverse in 2022 boys i can't believe it and then after that after the game is launched after the cryptocurrency after the nfts after the pet renting system then the game is gonna come to mobile Matt, what the fuck? What, what are you talking about? How are you going to release the game on mobile after everything else? How are you? Where are you putting the update? Where's the big update going to go if it if it comes out before the iOS and Android support? Like, what are you talking about? Quarter four game content updates. Great. Add new NFT items. Add new level. One new level. They're just going to add one new level. Okay. I, I mean, we're already implementing a whole metaverse uh, in quarter three. Okay. So we can only add one level in quarter four. Like, it's just so this person I, again i can't i can't even confirm if this person even knows what crypto and nfts are like they're just using just buzzwords from the crypto scene the, oh, staking we'll just yeah we'll just throw staking in there like fuck it. We'll, let's just tell them about let's tell them about staking yeah let's let's throw in metaverse let's we'll just talk about the metaverse and staking and 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 you know maybe people will buy it and then we'll throw tokenomic up there and we'll tell them all about uh you know how we're going to to how many coins we're going to supply and it's insane it's in like when you look at the, what, what they claim to be the supply of the rok coin like bro pre-sale alone is three billion coins one one binance coin is 10 million tokens this is like 300 dollars, by the way so for you'll get 10 million tokens for 300 dollars but the pre-sale alone is only six percent of the entire liquidity pool and apparently they they're gonna have a 10 billion supply for the play to earn players which my god if rok was a play to earn game i would quit that shit so fucking fast it would be insane but like what is this team three billion team what is team is that the people who work there but but then we have advisors and partners that's 500 million marketing they have two billion listed for marketing but they're only giving them out 30 to 30 tokens at a time how many fucking people do you think they're gonna they're gonna get with this airdrop in order for them to use all two billion coins on airdrops we have to have 66 million people redeem it bro what 
what do they, what do they think this is going to be the most successful uh pay, play to earn game on the planet by a, a hundredfold what is ecosystem what does that even mean oh wait a minute airdrop is a totally separate thing okay so what's marketing then if airdrop is this it, it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense the total supply of rok coin according to this chart is 50 billion 50 billion coins they're like competing with dogecoin for supply at this point dogecoin releases 5 billion coins a year these guys are just gonna drop 50 billion just right in the market like let's go boys 50 billion like what do you so hang on if the total supply is 50 billion which we can count here on the table and they're valuing 10 million tokens as one binance coin we can divide the total supply by 10 million tokens which gives us 5,000. that means that they are valuing the entire supply of rok tokens as 5,000 Binance coins, which at the current market rate would put the total market cap of this coin at 1,613,000 US dollars. Where is the value coming from? And on top of that, they don't even explain anything about the token. Like if I want to play to earn, how do I earn it? Where does this come into play? What can I do with the coin? How is that? Why is there value here other than what you're then just you saying it's worth a one Binance coin is 10 million? What, like, where did this come from? How do you know what it's worth? Why are you why are you starting it at that point? And also Dex liquidity. How, how do we know that this is decentralized? Who's who runs this? Why? What? How are you claiming to be decentralized? And then you have no you have no indication of, of who's running the show or how is, is this? is this like obviously there's staking involved here are we doing proof of work or, or what how does this how does this work okay they don't tell us you want to know why because they don't know you want to know why because it's fucking fake it's a fake it's a scam and they should be ashamed and they also should have legal action taken against them because again they're literally stealing assets in order to scam people's money like it's one thing to like make your own uh, thing and scam people that's horrible right but this is just laziness on another level they're just stealing all this stuff from an already popular game and the most shameful thing is that their their header puts Khan and Edward as S tier commanders above Saladin and Leonidas and Charles Martel. That's the biggest sin that I think they've committed this entire time. It's pathetic. So I tried to do a little bit more research into who is running this website. And of course it's redacted for privacy makes sense. I, I expected that it looks like this website is 25 days old riseofkingdoms.co is 25 days old it was created on may 5th which is conveniently the first day of pre-sale which guys you know if you're gonna have a pre-sale you probably want to start like marketing before the pre-sale right I, I don't know maybe i'm an idiot this says registrant country code is that's iceland beyond that i have no more information this is ip location south carolina greenville they bought it with name cheap it looks like that's where they got the domain from honestly Lilith if you're watching you gotta you gotta buy these domains okay you, you rise of kingdoms.co should just redirect to Lilith's website that that's what it is because otherwise you get websites like this that look like massive scams that could be legitimate because the website is so similar I also did a reverse IP lookup and I have a couple of websites here that also came up from this individual it turns out these websites no longer exist probably because they were pump and dump rug pull scams however I did discover that LOE game.io is still online it looks like the legend of vampires.io that's offline it looks like they've transitioned to LOE game.io and what is this a horrible image by the way um this is yet another fake nft cryptocurrency scam website it's the same thing oh look at that it's using binance smart chain that's interesting oh look it's a play for money game another play to earn game very very interesting oh my goodness look at this it's sort of like the exact same breakdown as the as the rok coin it's like this guy is literally just oh oh chaos mode dude he's going chaos mode bro this guy is is just pumping out these websites where they're stealing real game assets to promote a fake cryptocurrency and look at this he said our team what are the odds okay what are the odds that these are real people skin zero okay these are stock images with fake names that he just threw up here to get you to believe that there's real people working on the website okay and look it's a little bit diverse we got a couple women couple men looks good bada bing bada boom look at this it's the same shit, man it's the same shit. 
and this loser has botted the telegram group that he listed on the website that's right there's an official telegram link okay right here you can click to join the telegram and, and they bought it over 8,000 users that's crazy and basically this is just a copy and paste of, of their twitter okay we got 8,000 subscribers really 8,000 subscribers and they go by the name of rise of kingdoms official like they're really just stealing everything from lilith and claiming to be a, a real thing and they're hoping that they get your money out of it they're, they're, they're hoping that you know a fool and their money are easily parted and of course that's true and this is a, an attempt at just robbing rise of kingdoms players blind that's what this is there's a screenshot here of whoever joined the airdrop but guys I, you know I, I I'm telling you these most of these subscribers are probably botted some people may have actually fallen for this scam some people may have actually fallen for it and there's no way for me to know um there's no other information on the website we've literally covered everything here but this is this is a huge problem and I really hope that Lilith is aware of this and is taking the steps and taking action to removing you know scams and and fraudulent activity that is stealing their assets I mean if things like this happen often it looks bad for rise of kingdom so I'm sure that Lilith will be interested in taking down projects like this and hopefully none of you guys fell for this and hopefully nobody else any anybody fell for this obvious scam and I just wanted to make this video to bring it to your attention so you guys are aware of this and of course if you want to I'll have a link over to the coin vote website where you can go over here and you can report this coin um you can report it for whatever you want it's obviously going to be a, a rug pull or something else obviously it's you know it's copyright infringement as well so there's a lot wrong with this token okay um but if you guys want there'll be a link in the description maybe in a pinned comment as well to where you can come to this website and report the coin but also spread the word of this okay if you want to share the video or send this to Lilith or something like that but somebody at Lilith needs to know and of course I'll reach out to who I can to let them know as well but I would hate for anyone in this community to get taken advantage of by scammers like this it's honestly horrible and hopefully with your help we can get it taken down guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button it'll actually push this video out into the algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and be warned of this scam subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a real rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace